What's up guys, this is the Roverman I am back, bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So the round up where we left off, we have fought a double whammy battle against the Spanish, both in Gibraltar and in Milan. We have successfully captured Milan, we have some raiding Spanish troops on the loose, and Venice has declared war on us, so there's something to keep an eye on about. Keep an eye on eye open for. And, yeah, our, our objectives, our remaining objectives, to complete uh, my France campaign is to attack Genoa, to secure Liguria, and also to secure Corsica. And we've also been declared on by the Venetian Empire, so this army under d'Argentan, Mouse, Mose, uh, is moving <clears throat> to lay siege to the city, because they've got a reasonable garrison. But I don't think... I'm still, I'm still ready in case the in case the Austrians decide to move on us. Oh, there's another there's a big stack of troops being recruited there. Very small, very elite, but very small army. So let's get you another unit of Grenadier de France if I can. Nope, I cannot because they ran out. Let's get some some these these have rifles. Three units of troops recruited. One more. Let's get a unit of. Oh, there's so many line infantry units. So many line, line infantry unit types you can buy. It's a bit silly. But they're all recruited over in the Americas. It's still replenishing. You're still replenishing, but you will soon push on to the Pueblo Nations. Cuba Garrison is also replenishing because they'll be moving east to Santo Domingo. You're getting good infrastructure going. Don't even have basic roads. No wonder France, Spain wasn't making as much money as they could. Oh, you finally got a port. Here, have a trading port. Cool. So let's hit end turn to see what the AI's response is. I am for the Russians. That does not mean that this peace is enduring. I think the Austrians are moving on us. It's a bit concerning how they've just moved up an army. <clears throat> I mean a small army, but an army nonetheless outside Berlin. Thirty-one guys versus a whole army. Toss of a coin. I'm gonna have to fight it because I can't risk. Really screw me. So I think the only thing I'm gonna set up in this fight is just artillery to point towards them, and that'll be that. Because there's no way they can stand up to. Well, to be honest, they can't stand up to to one unit of artillery because they're just conscripts troops. They're not useful troops. Oh Jesus, we're up here again, aren't we? Because it's Gibraltar. Uh, I'll deploy my troops afterwards. The rockets are on the are on the go first, and my mortars. Howitzers are off. <laughs> One guy. <laughs> Poor sod. But yes, that's sadly something you have to do with Empire Total War sometimes. In order to not get completely screwed over by the mechanic. Ooh, the Ottomans are finally getting the Mamluks rebelling. Mm, as far as you rush, I would be deeply concerned. I've made peace with the Persians, they're going back north. Ooh, this Mughal force at Lahore is sallying out, so let's also engage them. I think I'd like to try... Well, see, I was about to say, is it worth trying to subjugate the Empire, or to make them, make them... Or just to seek peace with them, so that I can move all those troops out? But to be honest, they don't need to go anywhere else. Like, I don't need to swarm out in such overwhelming force. Because 
put you here. Good field of fire. No, not like that. Never like that. Solid core of infantry. It's a pretty bad position for artillery, so I might even put them up here. Let's keep two units of marines to protect the guns. Let's deploy the houses here so they're a bit out of the way. All the marines to protect the guns. Coeur de Bois, don't really have a position for you right now. Play. off by my artillery. Good, and everyone's on the move. We're just pummeling the hell out of them with our guns. Exactly as we should be. There we go. Now it's time for quick lime. New chap, switch to shrapnel shot. So I'm speeding this up a little bit because I don't foresee most of their armies actually standing. So I'm going to scoot along till their arm populace gets within musket range we start to see something a bit more interesting actually let's target our artillery properly there we go the first shot's been fired If this armed populists want to try it, they'll charge into my grenadiers. There's my lovely marines just stand by and wait. Lovely captain's hat he's got on. So we, are, we are killing people in this unit in the shell and the individual shells are still or bullets are still going on to hit the guys at the back. Have Adam Marines. Grenadiers, sorry. General, just go straight. Just make a beeline straight out to go and engage that artillery battery at the rear. Good lads. Watch this guy. Oop, dodge. Oop, doesn't kill him. Same again. Got him! Sorry, I had to cut back because my general's being shot at. So I wanted, to do, I wanted just to hop over and do that. 
Oh, so our guy might have died. We're following this guy now. They're just getting further and further into the maelstrom. Nope, oh, club that guy, he's down. Oh no! Francois! This guy's a bit a bit stuck. As he watches his last latest kill. Oh almost went for it. Nope. Oh no, he died! I wasn't looking. I would have the have them set so that they would still they would chase after them when they route. The general did take a few casualties on the way in. And yes, that's the the army broken. Poor souls. Send it there. Not necessary to chase them down like that. The city will be ours soon. All oh, the Italian states might go on the march. Gathering their forces. Venice is on. Oh, is Venice on the move? No, they're just going to send their ships to be a pain. Cheeky little scamps. Rebels. Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this region that are not currently being. Let's hop back over to India. So you. Let's chop them up. Votre demande est inconsidérée. Keep chasing them down. Yeah, still a bit grumpy. That's okay. Raids, port bouquets. Let's replenish this army. Get the barracks built, get walls built. Guy to finish off Lahore. Not done university because that probably does not help at all. To be honest, actually, because they don't mind us so much, let's break Lahore down and rebuild it from the ground up. Though your gold mine, maybe your iron mine. God, they're really suffering from. They're really suffering from unhappiness problems here. They've got three pleasure gardens. Just create a militia to get to the port to garrison it. Same here. Agent detected, but it's probably not a problem. Nope. Let's just blockade the city. So when I bring them a land garrison out to hit. These guys, it should be a neat, a neat little chop. Chop. Marché. Chase them down. Impossible, monsieur. Homme, d'autres avant. Votre Majesté, une erreur, certainement. Je n'ai pas. That's my rake. They run around me to capture Milan now, that would be very funny. Uh, lots of recruitment going on. Okay, so you are in 
need of reinforcement so let's get you a howitzer and a gun and let's get you a unit of let's get some pikes Gibraltar's so let's make sure you are repaired and the city walls are rebuilt make sure everyone's replenished because I'm sure the Spanish will just come charging after us Over in the Americas. Let's keep building. Probably it's probably a bit overkill now to have the, the size armies in the Middle East as I currently do, but they seem happy and I'm earning loads of money. So it's fine, I think. But this army, when I eventually recruit it, he's going to go around and try capture Patras. To be honest, I might go for Venice now. It's B Avenue. I've got a nice elite army. Loads, so there's no reason to not just go for it, I think. Just gotta make sure we manage to do it without causing too many casualties. Because I would like this army to then begin to hit Genoa, but we are very close towards the end of the. Uh, the then there's a question of trying to find out what uh, what nations, what what you guys want me to play. So I'll probably be holding a a vote. that to take place. Jesus, these, these guys aren't not fooling around when it comes to artillery. So we have quick lime. That's not good. If I do round shot, I can plink it whoever's at the front. Unless I just go all out and deploy them right up on the line. Yeah, I think I might do that. So then my assault forces... Gonna be... So who's better out of melee? Regular line infantry is better than Rose de So you guys are gonna carry the breach or capture the breach. These chaps are going to be ready to move up. Good, and let's deploy some artillery on like some cover on the on the right, some cover hidden on the left, if they can hide. General on the centre. Punch a hole through that section of the wall. You guys just absolutely kill whoever you want, really. Oh, you're going for this horse artillery. Let's move up my cavalry because they fancy. Well, they might have fancied having a little Sally. Chubby's sure, got two heavy horse guard units. Two heavy horse, yeah, horse guard artillery units. Ready. So, a couple of volleys and. A section of the wall will be destroyed. They are picking away at our garrison forces and they are taking pot shots at our howitzers to little effect. To 
be honest, I'll get these guys to keep to fire pot shots now, because in the center while I can. Dropping round shots onto here would be quite nice, because a lot of these these are light horse. Pikes. Counter battery. Yeah, they're after my infantry. It's unfortunate to be them, but should keep one of these guys going. Shooting conventional targets. That is asking for a quick climb. Don't care who you are, that is asking for a... It's a miss, but it's a good miss. Champs on the move. I'd be very careful about doing this AI if I were you. One of my units seems to be determined to quick climb them. run these guys then get shot in the back and blown to pieces good because one I don't want to be in the center when I charge in is pikes and these guys might be a trouble because there's a couple of good strong units and a unit of Swiss grenadiers so I need to be careful about attacking there that's why I probably wanted to loop a bit around more up here as well to get numbers on the wall Block of infantry suddenly become a lot less imposing. Oh, they're aiming at them, they're just missing. Or it's just like the, the shot is almost more oval shaped rather than circular. Do some retargeting a minute. These two chaps, I'm afraid. <clears throat> the Maison de Rhin, the Grenadier de France, their job is to attack this section to stop them from being able to traverse around like this. It's 
Move these guys up so they can start engaging through the breach. Another unit ground is up there, and then that will leave this Maison de Rye and the line infantry to either fight through the gate or storm through it or do something. Let's run these guys up. Lucky these guys aren't firing. So to aim at this bastion. There we go, lads. Full volley. Oh, they've not even reloaded. Oh, it's time to come out. Ban their guns around to engage through the gatehouse. I do want to support the main combat because I do not want my guys to be left high and dry storming over the hill. So let's change the target. Let's change the target of my guard artillery to still keep dropping quick climb on the near the breach. Go, go, Gadget Grenadiers! Shoot the crap out of this line infantry. And you guys are in. Hold my artillery fire. It's going to be the artillery removed. To the next gun. This is a bit dodgy, but my guys have bayonets now, so they should be. We well, have bayonets, they should be okay. 
Come on, my guardsmen. Okay, let's change to round shot, hitting the center. What are you guys doing? Nice one, guys. Jesus. Someone just shoot him. Look at him. Fine. Run past him. See if someone bumps into him and kills him. Kill the Swiss Grenadiers. Let's halt all my howards of fire. Line these guys up like that. Shoot at that one guy. These guys storm in. House is firing at the guy, the marines on the wall. So the hope is these guys fire at him, or maybe from this position. Hold on, Maison de Roy. You're about to be saved. Or do I just run a Grand Air Guard unit through, through the gap, into the backs of the line infantry? Got him. Yes, you should be concerned. victory. Nice capture of Venice. To get peace with Venice because it feels strange if they'd be too happy with continuing war after they've lost their capital. Or maybe that might spice them up a bit more. Venice. Peace. <laughs> yeah, not surprised really. Cool. Let's fix everything because Pretty closely aligned culturally. Let's get ready to recruit just a mercenary unit just to sit in the port. I'm actually move this garrison over to Milan just to make sure they don't do anything sneaky. Cool. Then let's hit enter and see what happens. Got my spy still on the move in Santa Fe. Here come the Austrians. Ah, they're still good old friends. Well, I say that now. Let's wait and see what it is they actually decide to do. Because this is Austria, after all. You can't trust them. I've <gasps> they're positioning troops near my cities. That's the second city in a row. I'm going to steal my research too, by the looks of it. <gasps> and they're raiding the Italian states. Good. Turn the Italians against you. Good. Good. Yep. Hugo Empire's gentlemen are abandoning their one university. Okay, I'm tempted to actually keep the Mughals where they are to see if they will get any trouble from bankruptcy. 
I did see that Venetian stack go north. Yep, the raiders are still going to raid. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Uh, Building plantations here will increase your nation's export capacity, improving income. Cool. So let's do that and that. Whew. Ooh, I'm not going to call my allies. So Dagestan has joined the Pueblo Nations. Which means we can do this. Good Lahore actually kind of likes me. Even though the city don't, no longer exists. Cool. Lovely stuff. So. Let's keep building. Don't need to rest. Don't need the governor's building. So they should be suffering from something like bankruptcy, but they're still growing, even though they own two cities for all of those troops. They're not trading. The only other city they have is Kashmir, which is not going to do some, do much good. Hmm? Well, the gentleman's died. Sevastopol's blockaded. These weavers' cottages still on the go. Uh, do a bunch of upgrading in Guba. Let's take my army. Yeah, you're fine. I could recruit some infantry just as a bit of a garrison just to keep you guys chill. Spend more money in India, keeping. See, India can be can produce so much money when you invest in it. Come on, let's finish off this raiding army. Cheeky little scamps. Immediately. Fix that. Fix that. Fix the coaching in. You guys can replenish and head up towards the Persian border just in case they want to try it again. Oh, one of our ministers has died. We've still got some really good ministers, and our monarch's brilliant. Plus two diplomatic, 12 diplomatic relations per turn. So that's why we're still very friendly, even though we've conquered all their friends. National leaders command respect. Plus 23. Although, obviously, Italy really hates me. Dissolving treaties is a big one. But, you know, after a certain point, you just don't care. Good, this army's ready. So let's do a little drive-by. You are about to launch an attack. The penalty no, I want for breaking to just... an alliance is greater the longer the agreement has been in place. Of course, this guy's got nothing. It'd be nice if we waited for this guy to leave. If you guys continue to replenish, you're in place, and you're in place. Cool. The tank's okay. So let's hop over to the Americas again. Um, I'm not bothered by the Plains Nations. I'm not looking for total victory. So you guys chase after Santa Fe. You start to climb down to New Mexico. You're on the march to Texas. Don't know if you're in the Caucasus. Now we're at war with Dagestan. 
Let's see if we can get there faster than the Georgians. See, because it would appear Georgia is also. Oh no, they're al allies with Dagestan. Let's trade, Georgia. Wow. Don't need to be so offensive about it. Cool. Let's hit and turn. Waiting, Austria. Waiting for your inevitable betrayal. Uh, let's pull back. Really, those armies are just there to make sure I've got a good eye and a strong force keeping an eye on what Spain's doing. I'm not that bothered about actually defeating them. The Ottomans are on the march again. Oh. They've sunk my blockading sloop. Same with this chap. Sad face. Oh, Mughal scholars on the march, probably just trying to steal someone else's tech. Yes, blockade my port, my soul, that's going to do. Not my soul, Moogles, obviously that was going to happen. Yes. <sighs> they decided not to go all in and actually try and... Ooh. God damn, you guys messed up. I got My Austrian Genoese allies love me. Wow. That sucks, I have to steal their territory. I might try to buy... <gasps> Ooh, and I'm being sallied out by the... by the... Dagestanians, and I also want to sit back because of their mortars. Because mortars... <sighs> so, as I've been playing rap, but whenever the AI has them, they seem to be repeatedly just devastating. So you know what? I'm not going to... Not going to play their game, not one bit. So I'm going to stand back and let them plink away at me. Fixed. So they will just abandon. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. This is okay. This is really good, actually. So let's put. Again, we're going to. As one of you commented not that long ago, you were very surprised when I said they're going to Mel Gibson the shit out of them, or the crap out of them. Uh, same again. As they come over the wall. Just group all my cavalry in one big block. General and general are here. Get my cavalry up here. Just because I wanted to deploy back, and this makes it a bit tricky to slightly deploy back, so I may as well just deploy back up against this hill. Nice, just out of range. Artillery is unlimbered. Oh, mad spike. But my concern is their mortars. There's their mortar crew. Good. So once we're in a decent fight. Well, let's go, go wide. Because I am going to just engage this big block of guns and cavalry. There's no camels back here. I 
Oh wow, I did a massively messed up job of them. It's just speeding up time so I don't have to watch this redeployment happen. Let's get you back up here out of the way. These guys go straight into the militia. Yeah, that more. To be fair, that more was getting abs. That house was getting absolutely everything shot at them. So fair enough. Messed up point on my part due to my screwed up deployment. These mortars are firing. You don't even have your mortars with you. So I've got a Dagestan company infantry. Same as everyone else's, but black. Just out of range, but they'll keep having a crack. There we go. The key thing is my cavalry is now sweeping around. Let's run them in. charge into the company cavalry. These guys run out, then come in. My lancers ignore the combat completely, and then go in against the horse artillery. Let's go, let's just go straight in, actually. Excellent quick climb shots dropping onto the garrison forces. Horse artillery is making a break for it. <laughs> so you chase after them. Cavalry is getting into position. Form square because they'll want to be up to no good. Let's bring my guard decor back up to the main battle line. Let's get my Indian lancers up against the horse artillery. Oh wait a minute, I forgot about those guns. You go after them. Native cavalry go after this horse artillery. Heavy cavalry get ready to engage the general's bodyguard. Yep. Company cavalry is going to hit my square and be drawn in. Fortunately, your your rubbish line infantry is not going to stand to mine. Cavalry up the rest of the battle line. Yeah, you're not going to win a skirmish against the foot guards. We're not. You're definitely not going to win. You're definitely not going to win it trying to bash them out of their position.
Craig's Glare because they've lost most of their cavalry, so it's not really a worry. I could go for my general, but I think they will find the infantry to be too tempting of a target. go. So now their infantry's broken, now it's just their cavalry fighting two units of elite guard infantry. And their lance is in on the general body, general's bodyguard. Didn't get any kills in on the charge. Let's bring in my general's bodyguard and bring in my other unit of lances. General's dead. Just get into the auto. Let's hold fire with all my artillery again. Oh, these guys are run straight through this militia unit. collapse. Could keep killing them, but I think what's going to happen is... Good, that's a routing flag. I thought that was a... Enemy was still here flag. Oh, there's someone. Nope, there they are. Good. Dagestanian forces. Very, very nice exchange ratio there. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Lafayette plantations, and then let's hit, hit here. Maintain the siege. Let's keep going with our, with our new, <laughs> rebuilding our new conquered territories. Keep on moving on. Cool. Let's hop aboard. Let's land over here. It's a pretty weak navy, so I'll use my navy to block theirs in. These, this guy will go and capture Santo Domingo. Yep, a couple of fleets destroyed to the south against the Marathas. Bit of blockading action, but meh. So they're attacking Arcot, but they're not in. But to be honest, I do like my odds. I have no one I can immediately... Let's try. Bring in Sebastian and his three batteries of 18 pounders. That is a mighty addition to the garrison, potentially. Although I fear they have not made it in, so they are going to pull back. Sad face. Still though, from here they are they will provide a reinforcement when the battle comes. Let's get all the buildings up to max.
you don't really need to quite so much. It's still good to keep growing that tax base because if I need to suddenly spend a whole load of money, then I can just at the drop of a hat do it. The main thing is so I can spend a whole lot of money and still not worry about my not worry about my ability to actually sustain those armies for very very long. Actually, let's hop over to India now. If I take the Lahore garrison, can they leave? They can leave. Go up there and subjugate Kashmir. Good. Let's give you people some jobs. Awesome. Yeah, lost the loss of a lot of tr the loss of a lot of trade agreements. Kick him out. Let's take the Württemberg garrison out to go hit Germano Bruno. You know those aren't my territories, they're still allied. God, Vienna's a funny province. It goes all the way along here. Hmm. This so army's still going to sit here because I'm going to want to hit Corsica at some point. Although, do I just land them and hit Naples? They're not necessarily a big army, so there's a problem they might run out of troops. So I might want to let the Italian states wear themselves out by bashing into me. Take this navy as it currently exists and then just blockade their only port. They're not going to be trading with Spain because it's not their capital. <gasps> we have been intercepted, but it should be good fun. But looking at the timer, uh, even I'm just under an hour, this would bring me to well over an hour. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the combined French and Austrian defeat of the, vi of the uh, Venetian navy. All right, cheers guys.